Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Well, yeah, we are more than ready, but uh, in our local parlance, we very much, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are tonight, we are done with what is expected of us. Now let's get ready for the first out of the evening. And this is the Ghana Boxing League starting tonight. Bouse number one is a super bantamweight contest over six rounds between Isaac Saki and Isaac Taylor. Officials for this bout, we have Judge 1, Confidence Siago, Judge 2, Me Mesa Akako, and Judge 3, Ishmael Williams. And the referee for this bout is Shadrach Akwe. Box this again, Isaac Saki from and Isaac Taylor from the Academy. These are the boxes for the first bout of the evening. A super bantamweight contest six rounds. Referee again, Shadrach Akwe, Confidence Siagba, Mehmesa Akako, and Ishmael Williams are the judges. So, shall we welcome the first boxer? Isaac Saki. <laughs> DJ, let's hear from you, DJ. So we are waiting for Isaac Saki. Hey DJ, let's hear from you. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our next boxer in the ring as we get ready to rumble. Our ring announcer will take us through the introductions. So we are waiting for the boxer Isaac Taylor from the Akotoku Academy. She messed up my demand. 
Thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment all of us are waiting for is here. Predictions are over, and tonight we are here to present to you the much anticipated Ghana Professional Boxing League after 16 years' break. You are welcome live on Max Television by the Ken Kennedy of Ghana Boxing Authority, Amax Media Group, Premium Motors, Renault. Tonight we are here. And this is the first bout of the evening. And this is a super bantamweight contest of our six rounds. Officials for this bout. Judge 1, Confidence Siago. Judge 2, Me Mensa Akako. And Judge 3, Ishmael Williams. Now introducing the boxer fighting up from the blue corner. And this evening, spotted in the black and white arch fates with red gloves and black and white shoes to match. This is a boxer from the Akutaku Academy, and this is the boxing gymnasium of the likes of Aigbo Zukokote, Azuma Nelson. That is where they were groomed, that is where they were nurtured. And this is the man. Tonight is coming to this ring with a weight of 120.6 pounds from the Akutaku Academy, presenting to you the boxer, Izzy. And he's making his debut today. Now, switching over to the red corner. And this is one of the finest boxes in the history of Ghana. From the red corner. And tonight, sweated in white and black trunks, red gloves, black shoe to match. And this is the man with an impressive record of 24 fights, only two defeats, and uh, 22 wins, 19 of those wins came by way of knockout under the tutelage of Coach Akai Nete from the Atokwashi Boxing Gym here in Accra. Presenting to you the boxer who is also known to be called the Eagle, Golden Eagle. Presenting to you Isaac Saki. And the man in charge of this fight is Shadrach Akwe. You are doing six rounds of three minutes. I need plain fight, shake hands, and good luck to both of you. Round one.
Taylor has his opportunity. And quickly they go into a clinch. Building his confidence as the clinch go by. Isaac Taylor came off uh, in, very, in a very good shape. But of course, Saki with a lot of uh, experience dictated the pace in round one. Well, he has been very explosive in the first round. And it's uh, the young chap from Akutoku Boxing Gym, Isaac Taylor, on the front foot, throwing some punches. And his combination has been working to perfection. But there was a comeback from Isaac Saki, who was connecting. Being a southpaw, he needed to always get into the, into the middle of uh, Isaac Taylor to get the best shot here. We see him with a little more jabs. And Isaac Saki waiting patiently unleash that left Take it out. It has been really wonderful. Amazing stuff here from Take the young chaps. Round So let's get two. ready for round two. It's the first bout of the evening. A super bantamweight fight schedule for six rounds. It's the two Isaacs in the center of the ring. Taylor in the black trunks. And uh, just as they finished off the first round, Quick left jabs from uh, left punches from uh, Saki. And Taylor tries a quick one. Misses a few of those uh, wild punches. But Saki will take the opportunity and the advantage now. Leading with the uh, left hand. And again, Shadrach Akwe comes in with a caution. But they'll still have a go at each other again. Saki trying to score a few points from the uh, punches is landing to the body and now it's the exchange of blows it's a give and take affair at this stage Taylor being urged on by his uh, corner telling him exactly what to do experienced boxing referee Shadrach Akwe and the two boxers go down as ruled out not a fall, so none of them will get the uh, the eight count. And again, steady warning going. That's Saki's uh, last opportunity. The next time you'll be docked points. Fight continues in earnest. The youthful exuberance on the part of Isaac Taylor is what will help him keep up the pace. That is Saki now. Good body punch by Taylor. And another one here. Sees one on the face. And sees a second one on the face. And the fans will give them the applause. It's just the first bout of the evening in the Ghana Professional Boxing League. Resistance of uh, Taylor not up to what he would need to uh, defend himself, but he's staying on his toes. Good punches to the head by Saki. And a wild punch thrown there by Taylor. And Saki gradually gathering the points. As we close in towards the end of the uh, second round. Again, both boxes going to the exchange. A slip there by uh, Saki. And uh, referee <laughs> separates the two. That brings the bow to the end. Let me go to Cecil. And uh, Cecil, you've watched these two boxes at least the first two rounds of the uh, first bout of uh, fight night one of this competition. Saki, we have realized that he's using a lot of the experience 
and Taylor is counting on his youthful exuberance. Um, you know, boxing is, is a style, and the style is, is, is an act of defense. If you check Isaac Saki, he is a veteran of the two. He has had um, more of win fights than the debutant who happens to be Isaac Taylor. Isaac Taylor is very, very crafty, but he's not taking his chances very, very well. He has said again, places that he, you, you should go for the punches, that he can gather points. Second, he's out. going for the power punching. And round I think three. Isaac is doing everything possible to win the rounds as it comes and as it goes. Into the third round we go. This bout is scheduled for six rounds. It's a super bantamweight contest. Isaac Saki in the white trunks on the attack. And he's been dominating since the start of the uh, first round. And the boxing fans here watching keenly. When these two boxes faced off during the uh, weigh-in, it was obvious that they were both ready, battle ready for the uh, league. And they are showing it. Careful delivery of the uh, punches. A few misses here and there. And into the corner they go as uh, Taylor tries to put Saki in the corner and under pressure. Saki comes out nicely. Throws a few punches, one to the head. Taylor at the receiving end at the stage. And he replies with a quick one to the face of uh, Saki. And after the six rounds, they will go to the scorecard of the judges. Quick left jabs to the uh, face of uh, Taylor. Judges at ringside for this event. Confidence Nyakbe, May Mensa Akako, and Ishmael Williams. Let's see how they score this. Still in round three of the scheduled six rounds. And uh, that body punch. Way Taylor off his feet just for a little while and a big one to the head quick response from Taylor and then a clinch by Saki good punches to the body of uh, Taylor looks like he's dazed at the stage throws a wild one which does not land and again Saki being very careful judicious use of the uh, punches whilst he tries to catch Taylor off guard. Again, Taylor seems to be under some amount of pressure, protecting himself quite well. And again, quick body punches. Saki dominating at the stage. And then he goes in for a clinch. And the fans here seem to be loving every bit of it. It's just the first bout of the evening. End of the round. The advantages have swayed the way of uh, Saki. But when you think that he's going to deliver the coup de grace, as it were, to end the fight, he then goes in for a clinch. For a dominant performance from Saki, you love his footwork. I mean, he gets into the inside of Taylor, and Taylor, a little bit slow for my liking. I mean, he's not getting his charge very well, and he's always going for a power punch, and he's missing the target. But for uh, Saki, very, very experienced, he gets his time. You look at his movement, his body posture is well organized. He's, he's, he's much more um, organized in, in the second round. I mean, he's, he's throwing some punches, he's landing the punches. He, he gets to the body very well with those jabs. He gets the jabs open in the face of uh, uh, Taylor, and then he can throw in the left uh, hook, and he's always landed. And for me, the young debutant, Isaac Taylor, needs to be careful. He's Round getting himself into dangerous four. position. He might get knocked down. Both boxers are on their feet for round four. This is scheduled for six rounds. Super bantamweight contest. And uh, Taylor tries to open up nicely. Flurry of punches. 
Sakit being the very careful one. That was a big one to the head. And again, Taylor rocked by another body punch. He needs to wear up his guard. And it looks like uh, Saki's finding a way through. At the end of the first season of this uh, boxing league, there's a vehicle to be won by the best boxer and another one to be won by the best gym. So obviously we're looking at total output in terms of performance from boxers and gyms as well. That man there looks on in awe. Sure he's thrilled by the uh, exchanges we've seen so far. They size each other up once again looking for the uh, opening. Quick one there by Saki and then he goes in for the clinch. He's been warned about the uh, punches to the back. And I'm sure he's going to receive another warning, yes, from uh, referee Shadrach Akwe. I guess this would be this would be his last warning. Big one there. Isaac Taylor resists, tries to go in for a couple of uh, body punches that didn't work. He goes in again, and this time he's down. One, two. Well, he's gone through the mandatory eight count. He says he's good to go. And so we continue the game again. But obviously, Isaac Taylor will be losing this round. We saw Saki dazzle him a few times and he got wobbled by a couple of the shots. And on that occasion, that big one sent Taylor down. Saki continuing, trying to look for the opening. Saki once again lands a quick one to the head, scoring the uh, points as he goes through. And now trying to add a little bit of showboating, obviously knowing that the round is done and dusted. Couple of shots to the uh, head of uh, Taylor. Wobbles a bit. And then another big one lands, thrown by Saki. A little bit of a swelling on the face of Taylor seems to be at the receiving end. One, two, one, two. And the Honorable Minister, you see. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget there will be a performance so by Nifani uh, and Lala. Isaac Taylor. Right who after has this a fight, like let's Taylor watch out for Nifani. As a boxer, although this is debut, he was supposed to size up Isaac Saki to know where his power punches are and encounter. But it seems as if he's going in a raw state. Wanting to go for the kill, but if you if you if you watch the fight very very critically, you could see that Isaac Saki is taking up point after point because he knows that although he carries so much power, the youngster is very very demanding in this power. So he's using his rich experience and then out of concentration. That's Isaac Taylor. Anytime he goes out of concentration, he gets punished by a punch from Isaac Saki. And I think Isaac Saki has stamped his authority on this particular bout. And I wouldn't be surprised that at the end of the state round, Isaac Saki will be announced as the winner. Isaac Saki clearly on top. That's the boxer in the white trunks. Super Bantamweight contest is scheduled for six. Points will be given to uh, the winner by different criteria. So there will be points awarded for technical knockout, a unanimous decision, a knockout, and of course a mandatory decision. Both boxers have a go at each other once again. Taylor trying to throw everything he has. A little smile on the face of Saki says, I can take your punches. Lance a big one once again. And then they go in for a clinch. Big one there by Saki. 
landed squarely on the face of uh, Taylor. Oh, and another one, Roxin, saved by the uh, ropes. This definitely is some baptism of fire for the young Isaac Taylor. Came into this bout the lighter of the two boxes in terms of weight, tipping the scales at 120.6 pounds. That's against 124.4 by Isaac Saki. Goes for the head once again. Saki taking advantage of the loose standing and positioning of uh, Taylor. Oh. A couple of punches to the head once again. He lands another two. It definitely has been a baptism of fire for the young Isaac Taylor. Isaac Taylor representing the Akotoku Academy. But so far, it's Atokwashi's Isaac Saki clearly in front. Goes in for the uh, body puncher, then the clinch once again. Honorable Nii Lante Vanderboy, boxing enthusiast. Watching the fight closely. Last 10 seconds of the fifth round. Another one way driven uh, contest. Saki clearly dishing out not only the best of his punches, but also initiating. This young boxer Taylor with this baptism of fire. Absolutely incredible performance from Isaac Saki, the, the champion of white tracks. And he knows when to move. His movement has been excellent. He knows when to go in for the power punches. He's a master of the counter punches and he's always there delivering it. You know, he's, he's, he's been moving and showing that he's more experienced here. Yeah, you see, the last round for this round. Nee Funny will be represented in the ring. Power punch from Nee Saki Funny again. will be standing by to enter the ring. The young chap is after this last and the fight was, and the final fight round. In the first round. I mean, he's very slow. He's he's not defending Second very well. Out. His hands are slow and he, he looks out. tired. Second and the final round. Boxers are back into it again. Three minutes they have to sort each other out. This is the last round of this super bantamweight contest Saki in white clearly the dominant force goes in for quick punches doesn't land tete a tete there between the honorable sports minister and mr maxwell tichi the brain behind max tv and i am max media and you can tell Saki is really enjoying himself has this fight firmly under control. He's not fast at all. He's still trying to land the uh, punches. A little bit of showboating here and there. The arena gradually getting filled as we have uh, boxing lovers, boxing enthusiasts all making their way here to the Bokum Boxing Arena to be part of history here tonight. Former GBA Chairman Mr. Peter Zwenis paid his dues for Ghana Boxing and covered it all up with annexing the uh, position of Chairman of the GBA. Good body punches, Flurry in there. Tego is connect. Can he withstand the pace, the power, the might of Saki? Saki still dishing it out. 
and then they go for the clinch. Not too sure whether that, that was a good tactic by the young Taylor. Saki in very comfortable zones in this fight again. Scores points. And Isaac Taylor almost always leaving his head unguarded, giving the opportunity to uh, Saki to land quite a few punches. Obviously, it will be a very big learning curve for Isaac Taylor still receiving those threatening punches from Isaac Saki. And it looks like Taylor has now become a free target. Saki landing punches at will. Both, both boxers have fought a good fight. Uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We have a lot more Nitty to learn. Funny. As we'll be we go next. Through. Let's have Nee well, Funny standing well, by it's been a after the announcements. Talk. Ladies and gentlemen, let's Isaac give him a big round of applause. Jim. And um, look, he, he, well, he knew what he wanted to do. That was very quick. an interesting fight. On the feet, very quick with his jabs. His movement was very slippery, was energetic, silky. pugilist. And trust me. Shall we, and shall we put our hands together for the two boxes? Ball. Thank you very much. Isaac Taylor always gets uh, we are now the waiting position. for the verdict He's very good in terms of for defending. the first His fight is poor. He's very of slow. the night. And so wherever when you, you get are, to we thank you very like much for being part of this wonderful night. Punch. You need to You're be careful. Yes, he has television. a great chin, the young Chuck Taylor. I don't know, I'm Mrs. sure he would have here. visited the canvas long ago, but super performance so from Isaac Saki. A for great me, I believe day. Uh, Isaac Saki. So we are waiting He's for the verdict. He's an experienced person. And in very terms soon we see the verdict. The next bout is, is way, way, way above Isaac Taylor. A heavyweight contest over six is rounds a Isaac between Taylor. Michael Osmanu Osula and Isaac Emmanuel Saki, a very Deke. Good run for his money. Emmanuel Deke we, we from the first square that, look, boxing the veteran team is still a veteran. and Michael and Osmanu Osula from the Black Panthers boxing team should get ready for the next bout of this the evening. evening here now we are Arena. waiting for Isaac the Saki, fantastic and once again, shape, and then he has been able to teach our former Isaac Taylor Honorable Neil boxing Ante lesson Wonderboy that he will never, ever Mustafa forget. Honorable Mustafa Yusif for exhibiting that element of unity. Yeah, he spoke about his, his uh, wonderful his craftiness in, members in of the parliament. Ring. They belong and to the Isaac Saki. political party. A while and ago, here, we saw how he started very it slowly, united. but they tell us that it was all about patience, we must have how to vision, jump and get the openings, mission, and he's always and getting into the middle, destiny. in the inside, Thank that's why it's much more dangerous. Honorable that Minister, quick jab, now you're waiting the for the verdict. And then he hits you Mr. on the DJ, counterpunch. Let's hear you have to wait for the verdict. And uh, like just, just said, in the final round, it was more or less like a, like a punch. Now, before we mention the verdict, we want you to put your hands together for the two boxes. Now, by the kind courtesy of Amox Media Group, Ghana Boxing Authority, and Premium Motors Reynolds, we have the verdict. Judge 1 scored about 59 to 55. Judge 2 scored about 59 to 54 and judge three 
scored about 58 to 55. So, by a unanimous point decision, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the winner from the Akotoku or Atokwashi Boxing Gym, Isaac Saki. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's hold on, let's hold on. Now we have a winner, Isaac Saki has won it. So Isaac Saki has won it. Now viewers, wherever you are, the Minister for Youth and Sports, Honorable Mustafa Yosef, has given this money to me. I think this is not Ghana cities, and this is not safer, this is not dollars, this is euro. So each boxer is taking home 100 euro. Woo! Let me start with this man. Congratulations. Congratulations and congratulations. Shall we put our hands together for them? Thank you very much. So that is what the league can produce and that is what the Honorable Minister can do. So wherever you are, don't be a dropout. Mr. DJ Lesia, you will be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I mean, Lam Jay.